with less than 20 days for your preparation for NABARD grade A phase 1 examination, you all would be thinking about that how to strategize more importantly for the merit section subjects like ESI, ARD and GA. Of this, we will be today discussing about ARD specifically, which is one of the main core pillars of NABARD grade A exam itself. It may be phase 1 or phase 2, agriculture and rural development is that subject on which your selection is dependent on. Let's try to discuss today how one can score 30 plus marks in ARD out of 40 marks in phase 1 examination of NABARD grade A. So, we all know that total merit section is of 100 marks. Out of those 100 marks, GA has 20, ESI has 40 and ARD has 40 marks. Today we will see that what is the strategy, mark distribution and important topics which are recurring in exam, which you have to prepare to get 30 plus marks. We'll see list of the topics which definitely you need to cover before your phase 1 exam. I'll give you that list of topics, that magical topics which if you search on internet, on Wikipedia, then also you will 100% get 20 plus marks in NABARD, that is in ARD. So let's try and start our discussion and to understand ARD more, we'll begin with the mark distribution. We all know that the overall target score for agriculture and rural development ARD, we have set it to be 30 plus. We need to score 30 plus marks anyhow. How we are going to do is that these are the recurring topics and these are past year recurring questions from each of these topics. For 2023, I will personally tell you here by writing down so that you remember it better. Okay? Let's start us with our first topic. NABARD flagship schemes, funds, initiatives and organi organization. For example, NABARD flagship scheme will include Wadi scheme of NABARD. Do anybody know that what is Wadi scheme of NABARD? Similarly, when I talk about funds, RIDF fund or agriculture infrastructural fund, such questions always repeat in NABARD exam. These are fundamental foundational questions of NABARD and therefore you will see three to four questions in NABARD exam, even four questions were asked in 2023 related to flagship schemes, funds, initiatives, it may be NABARD's any initiative too. It may be any organization also which is clubbed with NABARD, for example NAP Samriddhi, which is nothing but a subsidiary of NABARD. Very important topic, you have to cover it. ARD reports and indices, it may be handloom census, it may be uh, animal husbandry related stats, it may be agricultural census, any type of such report you always will see two marks in 2023 also, two questions came. Government schemes, portals and initiative. The Ministry of Agriculture and Agriculture Associated, whatever government schemes are there, portals are there, it may be uh, your ENAM, it may be GEM, it may be even various other portals, okay? For example, eKrishi, okay? Uh, then your Meghdoot app. Such questions will definitely come. Almost three questions came in 2023. Agricultural statistics, if you are looking at, what are the stats associated with agriculture? In 2021, the question was asked that how much is the contribution of agriculture and allied sector in percentage to the GVA, gross value added. So here, in 2023, one of the questions was related to the statistics of animal husbandry specifically. So that one question was there. Now, here is where your overall current affairs section in your ARD finishes. Out of 40 questions, you can expect 5 to 8 questions. That is, 32 questions will be static and 5 to 8 questions will be your overall current affairs which come from this section. Now, in static, what are the important syllabus to run after and to do them very concretely? Introduction to Agriculture, Basic Understanding of Agriculture Development, zero questions. Not that important chapter. Agronomy, very, very important. I will write down your number of stars also to understand that which is very, very important. Three star chapter this is. Any question which is related to field crops, any questions which is related to factors affecting crop, it may be scientific name, it may be classification of field crops, it may be the isolation distance, the spacing, any factual question which is associated with the crops directly is from agronomy chapter only. Agroclimatic zones, when we are talking about, what is agroclimatic zones? Yes, I am talking about the climatic factors which are responsive to agriculture. Again, an important sub-chapter which comes in agronomy only. You can expect one or two questions from here also. From agronomy specifically, there were three to four questions uh, in your 2023 exam. Now, before moving forward, let me tell you, if you are a student and if you are preparing for NABARD grade F exam this year, then definitely you would be thinking about, sir, what are the good sources 
to revise properly what are the best possible mocks to attempt then definitely what i would suggest is that these are the following courses which we have launched for your nabard grade preparation we have launched learn pack which is one of the best resource right out there which provides great quality of notes good quality top curated content related to mocks 120 plus mocks are there in which full length mock then sectional mocks and even your topic wise mocks are there which are in your nabard grade 2024 now this learn pack is the best resource out there if you don't have notes go for learn pack if you don't have tests go for learn pack if you are a student who feels that in 20 days how will my preparation happen don't worry we have also launched a crash course if you are zero or maybe less confident that you cannot clear nabard trust us and you can go for the nabard grade 2024 crash course it's a promise that within the phase 1 exam before phase 1 exam that is first of september will complete your whole syllabus for phase 1 as well as phase 2 so these are both of these courses other than that very important instruction all of the students who are preparing for nabard grade a phase 1 examination for all of them we have started weekly free live test which is on wednesday and thursday so on tuesdays you can register yourself for the test and you can definitely try giving the free weekly live test for nabard grade a phase 1 examination the exam is curated in such a way that the content is top quality which matches the real time nabard exam so try your luck this was a input because many of the students they don't have proper resources for the preparation now let's continue forward as i told you this much chapters we have completed now let's move forward in our next section so now when we are talking about the next chapter agri extension it is related to extension education in 2023 there was one question in 2022 also there was one question it was related to demonstrations dryland agriculture and up till now there is no any question but what i think is that there may be one or other questions which is associated with the dryland agriculture in terms of the definitions of dryland agriculture dry agriculture uh, or rain fed farming in such a way that definitions could be asked one of the most important chapter which i can actually give it again three stars here this chapter is cropping systems cropping pattern and farming systems always there would be three to four questions here in 2023 there were three questions agri mechanization and agri engineering again the questions which are related to equipments or machineries here two questions came from 2023 2024 animal husbandry very very important you can prefer that three to five questions are always asked in exam in the year of 2022 evening shift eight questions were asked in the 2023 almost six questions were asked from animal husbandry forestry when i'm talking about again here in 2023 scientific name of timber was asked so from forestry you can say that classification of forest could be asked okay so here again one question was there from the forestry fisheries three to four questions last time there were only one to two questions which were asked in 2023 from animal husbandry and fisheries one important aspect is that these are related to livestock so therefore breeds classification of the breeds varieties of the breeds features of the breeds characteristics of the breeds disease associated with the breeds everything has to be covered in animal husbandry and fisheries irrigation and water resources one or two questions you can definitely go uh, basic definitions and techniques uh, the terms what is contour farming what is terrace farming how are both different what is contour bunding such all things i think you should definitely make those concepts clear okay one to two questions were asked from your irrigation and water resources soil sciences here properties of soil mainly uh, the texture of the soil then your overall structure of the soil composition of the soil such questions can be asked from the soil and even the classification of the soil their properties soil orders question can definitely be asked so therefore here last year only one question was asked actually but always two to three questions can be also asked from the same chapter horticulture and plantation is one of the most important chapter in your overall ard you can expect even sometimes 7 marks and 11 marks last year 2023 there were almost 8 questions which were asked to uh, asked for the horticulture then comes meteorology and environment ecology these are much more uh, easier chapters and there is no question up till now related to rural development and panchayati raj institution you can say that the questions from government schemes are asked uh, from the rural development or maybe panchayati raj related one or other question may be asked but it is less likely the important chapters i have already told to you now how to do the current affairs or maybe how to do uh, the overall reports that's will that's what we'll be discussing for the government schemes which are related to the agriculture ministry or agricultural sector ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare 
whatever government schemes they have put out in last eight months or even one year, you have to prepare them because just Ministry of Agriculture uh, schemes, those would be definitely very, very important. Then Ministry of Rural Development also. So two ministries are important, Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Rural Development. Now many of the people would be saying that, sir, tell us some sources which are very important for ARD preparation. As I told you, we have already launched the courses. If you are not having any source, best is to opt for any of the uh, course, Learn Pack being the resourceful one and crash course for all the video lectures. Other than that, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University website or portal is also there, which has free content, but it is very complicated and you have to read selectively. Vikaspedia Krishi Jagran is also same thing, you have to read selectively, which wastes a lot of time. Reports when I'm talking about, which are the reports very important. Annual report, NABAD annual report, then microfinance report, 20th livestock census, agriculture census, basic animal husbandry stats, crop production stats, which is the largest crop grown in, uh, uh, in this state or maybe uh, for mango production which is the state with highest production for rice which is the state with largest area production or largest quantity in production in how much tons okay such type of questions are asked in the crop production stats nafis survey and handloom census these are this is the list take a screenshot definitely you have to prepare now static related important chapters agronomy field crops farming system cropping system cropping pattern animal husbandry fisheries horticulture forestry, agri-engineering and mechanization. Remember this very care carefully. These are the most important and re recurring chapters in the static syllabus of ARD. Now comes the main thing, list of the topics which are very important for this year. See, if you don't know about these topics, you can even do a simple Google search, but these topics will give you 30 plus marks if you prepare them well. First is MSP stats and data. Any data which is related to agriculture, try to refer out economic survey try to refer NABAD website and try to refer overall agriculture perspective and different facts which are related to agriculture in this year. Second thing, MSP data. How much crops are in the MSP list this year? What is the pricing of the crop? That has also been asked. For example, suppose in MSP this crop is there. What is the minimum support price of this crop? They have asked it. So make sure go through this. Terminologies which are related to animal husbandry. Very, very important. Not only terminologies, but also they will be asking related to, for example, what is parturition. They may also ask you, what is the parturition period for pig? What is the parturition period for horse? What is the parturition period for cattle? So you have to make table here of parturition of all the animal breeds. Then gestation period of all the animal breeds. Ovulation period of all the animal breeds. Okay. So these terms meaning also you should know and table also you should have. Then types of farming. What is lay, tri lay farming? what is arboriculture, what is truck farming, it's different types of agricultures are there, definitely you should be knowing about this. What is uh, then intercropping, okay, what is double cropping, what is triple cropping, such questions also will be asked. Then comes breeds, so we all know that in animal husbandry, fisheries, poultry, cattle, buffaloes, everywhere breeds are there. So tomorrow question may be asked that concrete is the variety of which of the following animals, horse, uh, cattle, buffalo, uh, hen, etc. Similarly, a question could be also asked in depth. For example, suppose one variety of poultry, which is Kadaknath is there. So they may ask you that uh, uh, why the color of the Kadaknath chicken is black in color. Okay. So such type of questions which are around the breed. So any animal breed is there. What are the characteristics? What are the features? Okay. Which area it is found? What are the common names? Okay. Then what is its physical appearance? Is it heighted? Is it short? The legs are big, the legs are tall, the horns are curved, etc, etc. And then comes the diseases which are associated. You can also try to even note down the overall milk capacity in context of cattle and buffaloes. Okay. This is the overall context of breeds. Terminologies which are related to horticulture. What is curing? What is stalking? What is degrading? What are runners? If I ask you what is training? What is pruning? Such questions can be definitely asked in the horticulture. Very, very high chance that such questions definitely repeat in exam. Diseases like chlorosis, necrosis, these diseases are associated with plants, specifically, more importantly, horticultural crops. So such diseases, it may be a disease because uh, which is caused because of a pathogen, disease caused because of an insect, or disease which is caused because of the deficiency of nutrient. So 
all these three types of diseases has to be covered. In context of nutrient deficiency, you should also know all the facts related to that nutrient deficiency. Agricultural platforms like Krishi Nives, Enam should be learned in depth. Census when I'm talking about the important uh, the resor resources or booklets. First it's census 2011, economic survey of that year and budget of that year, very very important. Next is facts on rural and agricultural uh, sector, data related to rural population, how much landholders are there in the country. If I ask you a question, do you know about it? How much gross zone, net zone area is there in the country? Do you know about it? Then how much is the micro irrigated area in the country? Do, have you have any idea about it? So in this way, all these facts are very important from NABARD's perspective, not just for exam, even after selection. Agricultural contributions also for GVA, GDP, how much is the contribution for this year? Agri-economics when we are trying to see fixed cost, depreciation, gross crop ratio, these are the most important topics or most important chapters. Then soil erosion terms also such as what is contour budding, what is uh, your terrace farming, such questions can be directly asked. Not only that, even specific in-depth detail also can be asked in the examination. For example, they may ask you how much is the slope percentage or how much is the slope for doing counter bonding or for doing terrace farming, right? Next comes species of horticultural crops and cereals. So species in the sense what are different varieties, they may ask you which of the following variety belongs to the mango crop, doesn't belong to the mango crop and they may give you five options of which one option is not the variety. Similarly, scientific names also of each of those species. For example, strawberry scientific name has been asked, apple, timber, uh, then uh, even your uh, red gram, these are the questions which have been already asked. Even one millet is there, I think uh, Kodo millet, scientific name has been asked. In this way, you have to be very, very uh, aware about the questions which are asked. Agroclimatic zones, specifically related to a state or any region and characteristics related to that region can be asked in form of multiple statements. Farming systems like what is hydroponics, climate smart agriculture, uh, even what is precision farming, such questions can definitely come. Scientific names when we are talking about, as I told you, scientific names of all the crops. Diseases and deficiency of horticultural plant, plants when we are talking about, we should, as I told you, diseases three types, pathogen, insects and nutrient deficiency. All three make a table, make a list of all the crops and write down one by one what are the diseases. When you are writing a disease, also write what is the disease, which pathogen, insect or nutrient deficiency causes that disease and what are the specific things which happen in the disease. For example, black rot disease, what happens to the root at that time, what happens to the stem, does it becomes black, what happens in chlorosis, what happens in, uh, what happens in downy mildew, okay, what happens in powdery mildew, white powder comes, what happens. So in that way, disease, the actor or maybe the vector, uh, that is either insect, pathogen or your nutrient deficiency and then what are the characteristics which we see in that disease, okay. Make a table, I am telling you it will just require half an hour or 15 minutes but it will give you one mark very easily. Then fisheries, its type, culture, breeds, forestry classification, for example different classifications are there in context of forestry, those could be asked. Personally what I think is that various forest breeds are there, their scientific name definitely you read it out because scientific name will come of the trees which are always in use or maybe which have been never asked. Water resources and measures of conservation can be asked. They can, they can ask what is bow levy, they can ask uh, what are different other methods of doing irrigation. Agricultural schemes and NABAR flagship programs, again as I told you, WADI program, RIDF, a question has been asked related to RIDF many a times. Question has been asked which is uh, uh, related to your subsidiaries of NABAR. Then terms and definitions, very, very important. In, a, in ARD or agriculture and rural development, there are certain terms which you, if you hear, you don't know the actual meaning about it, okay. So for example, what is chaffing, what is uh, pruning as I told, what is training, uh, these are the terms when they have an agricultural meaning, what is mulching, okay. So in this way, you should be definitely knowing these terms and their definition. Nodal agencies, institutions of agri and NABAD, very important. You should be knowing about when was ICR established, Specific ICR which is important, you should be knowing about where that ICR is, okay. Uh, you should be also knowing about, for example, Indian Agricultural Research Institute, okay, where it was established, now where it is located, where is the headquarter. All these are important institutions, you should be knowing about them. A concept of agricultural extension, 
agriculture extensions there are various concept for example what is demonstration okay what is uh, method demonstration in this way such questions can be asked there are also some topics which are related to basic science not agriculture basic science it may be pollination it may be fertilization uh, it may be the morphology of fruits and flower okay i hope you understand mesocarp endocarp exocarp then your in flowers stigma style these are basically your 11th 12th questions so make sure you also revise at least watch some one or two video to understand the morphology of both because flower fruits are very important seeds classification is very important in classification the certification is there for example nucleus seed what is the color of the certificate what is the genetic purity of nucleus seed what is the genetic purity of registered seed what is the color of certification of a registered seed very very important question then farming techniques such as as i told you various farming advanced farming techniques are also there okay so they may ask you uh, uh, like different types of farming such as organic farming they may ask you they may ask you uh, even such as precision farming they can ask you hydroponics aeroponics they can ask you reports and indices whatever reports i told you very very important go after this reports in depth and then comes crops climatic requirement diseases associated with the crops other disease uh, other details like spacing and all so make again one or table one table crop and all the features which are associated whatever features related to each and individual crop this is very important so in this way so in this way i hope that it is very clear for all of you to understand how you can score 30 plus i will give now time to take a screenshot so that you guys can take a screenshot and actually do the research of these 30 topics which i have given okay so research now take a screenshot guys take a screenshot guys so this will help you a lot okay so thank you very much and see you next time i hope that you all try to achieve more and more marks in ard same way we will also have a session for esi okay so best of luck for your nabad phase 1 exam